You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. Well, another day, another Mets video. And once again, it's involving Marcus Stroman, who I believe may be the heavyweight champion of Major League Baseball players and race baiting. This time, he has decided to go after legendary Yankees broadcaster Michael K. Also, he, Michael K. is an ESPN radio host. <sighs> Why? Over issues involving race. Now, Marcus Stroman, I did a video yesterday where he actually decided to agree that if Mets fans didn't like the thumbs-down gesture, which, by the way, all those Mets players have since apologized to fans. I guess Sandy Alderson got a hold of that, A. Eh? Well, Marcus Stroman said, if those fans that don't like that, well, they're racist. Well, because that's standard operating procedure for a lunatic crazy that ain't got nothing actually creative or constructive to say. You go to the bullpen to call out the racism card. Yeah, give me the racism out of the... Yeah. No, no, not not common sense. Racism. Uh, I shouldn't do that. I'm left-handed. Yeah, anyway. Let's get to this article because, yeah. Mets pitcher hits back at ESPN's Michael K by blasting him for never having a black host. I mean, really. You don't like some, something somebody says, Marcus Strowman? Standard operating procedure is to do the laziest thing possible, which is pull the race card. Moron. New York yet yeah, New York Mets players have been roasted in the last 48 hours for repeatedly directing a thumbs-down gesture at the crowd as a way of booing back at the fans, you entitled spoiled babies. Because of the controversy, the Mets have been the focal point of sports talk shows with the most of the commentary being critical as well it should be. Among the critics is ESPN radio host and New York Yankees play-by-play -play voice Michael K. Javi Baez received a significant amount of criticism for acknowledging players were attempting to boo back at fans. Francisco Lindor, Kevin Pillar were also blasted for participating in the stunt. And starting pitcher Marcus Stroman was called out for firing back at angry fans on Twitter. Yeah, he decided to say that all the fans that didn't like that were racist. Racist. Can you imagine paying customers? We're going to call you racist. Quote, he can't let it go, Kay said of Stroman. Don't you think it's up to the Mets, either their first front office or their PR to call up Marcus Stroman now? Listen, Marcus, stand down. Just for a day, stop. This isn't helping things. You're going to war with the fans, question mark. What is he doing right now? K continued with co-host Don LaGreca and Peter Rosenberg. Quote, it's like he's antagonizing people. And this is a guy who should know better. He, he's a highly educated athlete with a degree from Duke. Strowman was alerted to K's commentary by a listener who tweeted at the Met, Met, Met starting pitcher and suggested... He called into the radio show instead of calling in. Strowman responded on Twitter. Michael K., you've had the show, I believe, since 2002. You've had how many co-hosts? Not one, I believe, has been a minority, Hispanic or black. It's the Michael K. show. It's not anybody else's show. You have the authority or least. He's always ripping on me. I wonder why I laugh out loud. And he posted this, George Floyd protests, cop calls, Michael K. show, accuses ESPN radio of racism, told he's full of crap. Can you imagine? Can you? <laughs> Good God. Okay. In a tweet, Strowman used a quote from June 2020 article by NJ Advance Media, which detailed an interaction between K. and a caller who criticized the Yankees announcer for not having minority co-host on the show. He's always ripping on me, Strowman added. I wonder why I laugh out loud. Kay and LaGreca have been paired on ESPN New York since 2002, with the deal working to build successful sports radio show in a tough market over the course of two decades. Rosenberg, the third voice, joined in 2015. 
This isn't the first time Strowman alluded to sports media members being racist or having racist biases. In June, the pitcher called out Arizona Diamondbacks broadcaster Bob Brindley for having racist undertones. Oh, man, that's standard operating social justice protocol. Racial undertones. Oh, you might as well pull problematic out of your ass. In his commentary after he mocked Strowman's do-rag earlier this year. And by the way, I heard what he said. He didn't mock his do-rag. He said something about the do-rag. And there wasn't anything, in my opinion, that was racist about what he said. But Strowman, who marched around last year in a Black Lives Matter jersey, decided that he had to call it racist. Earlier this year, Strowman, who also called out New York Sports Radio WFAN for having hosts who are clowns pushing a racist agenda. I can tell you right now, I don't know who he's talking about. I watch Boomer and Geo every morning before I go to work. In no way are either one of those guys racist. I can tell you right now. Strowman responded to negativity on Twitter is not new, but he also used social media platform to interact with fans in a positive manner. His engagement off the field, paired with exciting athleticism and energy on the field, saw Strowman quickly emerge as a fan favorite when he was traded to New York in 2019. Well, I guess he might not be much of a fan favorite now if he continues to call the Mets fan base a bunch of racist. I wonder how well they're going to appreciate that. And look, Michael K's right. Why even get involved yesterday? I mean, really? You had to come out and literally agree with somebody that... If you didn't like the fact that paying customers who have a right to boo your ass in the ground when you don't perform well, they pay a lot of money in New York for tickets. Those fans deserve and should be able to boo you. By the way, the president of the Mets came out and fully agreed with the fans. Yes, they have a right to boo when you don't perform well. You don't like that. So if they boo, they're racist. That's what you said. And Michael K. gets paid to give commentary on losers just like you. Just like you. And yeah, you deserve every bit of criticism you get. I hammered your ass yesterday. Let me guess. Let me guess. I, I don't have any black people on my show, so I must be racist. Except I own the channel with a black dude. This is the kind of morons, and this is the reason why so many fans have quit watching sports. That so many fans are fed up with sports athletes. So many fans are fed up with... There seems to be a connection between being woke and being ignorant. They seem to go hand in hand. And Marcus Stroman is a lot of both. Ignorant and woke. And yeah, for a guy that's got a degree from Duke, you would think he was smarter. But then again, most of the bullcrap that is actually preached in universities these days is a bunch of liberal trash. Let's be real. Okay? So he ate that up and decided to carry it off in the real life. Marcus Stroman, why don't you get out there and do some real research and learn about what something that might be actually racist is. Fans booing you because you don't perform is not racist. It's not. Fans have been booing people for how long? The end of time. Since sports started, people were getting booed. Has nothing to do with skin color. Growing up, I was a Texas a bit of a Texas Rangers fan. I'm a Yankees fan, but the Rangers are local here. And growing up, one of my favorite players was an outfielder by the name of Pete Incavilla. He also played for the Houston Astros. Well, we called him Inky, okay? And what Inky did was he hit home runs. What Pete Incavilla also did was strike out all the time. And because he struck out all the time, fans booed him. Now, I loved Inky. I thought Incavilla was great, okay? But the fact is, Incavilla was a white dude. Fans booed him. Why? Because he kept fanning for crying out loud. <laughs> I mean, it's like Strowman said... No white guy ever has ever been booed in the history of sports. You're in New York. Have you ever seen any Jets quarterbacks play? Really? Come on. 
<laughs> I mean, how ridiculous can you get? And Michael K is, for all accounts, he seems to be a great dude. But he's paid to criticize morons like you. And I hope he continues to do it because you deserve it. I mean, my God, he's on ESPN. You can't get any more woke. But to be honest with you, he's probably, I think it's just an affiliate station. It doesn't have anything to do with the worldwide leader in woke, probably. Anyway, tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Marcus Strollman is an idiot. That guy's a total douchebag. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.